Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Yes, uh, today is a very special day. I have here with me someone very, you know, important to me. I have a mother, a boss, a mentor, director, grandmother, great grandmother, in person of my name is this is Gloria Ayebusi. So mommy, where are you from? I'm a Nigerian and I live in Lagos. Okay. Um can you tell us what you do for a living? Professionally I'm a teacher, but right now I run a school in the GRA Keja and I direct of uh, studies and administration of St. Gloria's group of schools. What can you tell us about the year 2020? How has it been with you? 2020 has been a year. Started, started off very well. Started school suddenly in March. This uh, deadly virus just came from nowhere and changed the whole scenario. So we found ourselves closing down the school suddenly in March and uh, had to have a lot of lockdown and then went home till mid-September when school resumed again. So it was a very, very, very boring uh, time staying at home from morning to night. So it was a year, it was a year. And we, we thank God for everything. At least none of us has been afflicted by the deadly. Uh, all my children in school, my teachers, my family, everybody has been. How would I say it? Nobody was affected by the virus. So we thank God. As the Lord says in every situation, give him thanks. So I thank him. So far, so good. For, for those who are affected by this, we feel so sorry for them. At least we see them on television, the way the hospitals are filled up. In fact, some hospitals, patients sleeping on the ground. And then we see some patients, some dead patients, uh, vans being used as mugs. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's really very disheartening. And uh, I can imagine a family being affected by this uh, uh, virus and then losing their family members and all that. So it's, it's, it's not been very, very interesting. I really pray for the families that were affected by this uh, deadly uh, virus. What do you think will have made better maybe what the government will have done? Just let us know, man, in your own opinion. What could the government have done to ameliorate the suffering of uh, the people? Because at that time, we found out that many people had no food to eat. People were calling, asking for money, asking for food. And uh, most of the banks were under lockdown, no money in circulation. People couldn't travel to bring food to Lagos where I live. So we found out that prices were skyrocketed. And the government wasn't prepared for a pandemic of this nature. Because I remembered some years ago, I was going to New York and uh, it was on the day of the 9-11. Uh, the terrorists had just struck New York and we were just one hour to London. And then we were, we were forced to land in Canada. The Canadians were ready, they were prepared. Within the twinkle of an eye, they took us to a massive center, mattresses, uh, bed sheets, food, toothpaste, everything you can think of. 
But in Nigeria, they have palliatives. Some that they give you rice that will last one day, uh, beans that will last one day. And that was it. I believe every country should be prepared for any sudden change in the atmosphere of any country. Much wasn't done in Nigeria. I expect in future that the country should be prepared for a day like or a year like 2020. Anyway, mommy, to round up the interview, I would like to ask what is your uh, wish for the year 2021? I hope by 2021, uh, people will be free to travel, the aviation industry would have improved, um, the school system would have improved, because even up till now, we've not been able to run the school in its full capacity. Children cannot go out for uh, sports. They cannot, the children cannot swim because of uh, avoiding close contact with other children. So we hope that by 2021, that this pandemic would have, uh, would have uh, eased off. And then from what we can see on the television, I hear that they have vaccines now that will allow people to live their normal life. My prayer is that 2021 will be more normal than 2020 and life will be better. And so shall it be. Anyway, if you have made it so far to the end of uh, this uh, video, I say thank you very much for watching. Please. Always make sure you like my video if you enjoyed it, please. It's very important. Like the video, press the like button and share this video. Let it go viral. Let it go viral because uh, we are trying to uh, be monetized before the end of this month, before the end of this year. And I know I can't do that alone without your support, please. Support Arenga TV, inform your friends and family, and let's grow bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Till I come your way center with another wonderful and interesting video of uh, the Vlogmas. I say bye-bye and uh, oh, double.